Hello, everyone. And welcome to Thursday. I forgot <laughs> I what day it was. I, I was going to say, like, I thought, I, I thought, I was going to get the day wrong. You didn't think. No, I didn't think. Can you tell <laughs> that I taught today? So the minute I get home, the brain function just kind of is at this like very steady, very rapid decline. I was just going to say with the intro, it seems like we're all peppy and ready and woo. But actually, we've both been just like working endlessly I feel like all got day. Hit by today. So we're That's both to quite it. exhausted. We're gonna try to make it through this mm -hmm. though. We're gonna power through because we do have a good haul for you guys today. I am actually really excited about this stuff. Me and too. at the end of this lovely haul rainbow is dinner time. <laughs> which for me, I have not eaten today, which welcome to the life of a teacher. I had a bag of goldfish. I didn't I lied. Either. I did get a bag of gold for Welcome to the life of a self-employed person. I also did I know. Eat. It's like we're just starving to death <laughs> over here. So this haul is from the Family Bins Bash that mm -hmm. went up on Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed that. From reading the comments so far, it seems like you guys did really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. If you missed it, it did have a thumbnail that did not have either of us in it. So that is possible that you missed it. It mm -hmm. had Debbie holding up a shirt that said, what, what, chicken butt or something like that. Guess what, yeah, chicken guess butt. What chicken butt? Oh, I just, so if I you hope missed she it, that. you don't want to miss it. So go back and check that because it was really fun. It was really funny. It's in the little thingy. Most of Debbie's Something. parts were just her kind of going ham. It's just kind of Debbie being Debbie. It that was, is Debbie. It wasn't like, much substance. It was kind of just her Debbie, Debbie and bobbing. You know, that's exactly yeah. how she is in real life, though, too. It so, is. like, if anybody's ever worried, like, are they the same in real life? Unfortunately, we yeah. are. Yes. Which, like, <laughs> I don't know about that for y'all. Um, <laughs> Debbie is face value. <laughs> Which we love. What you see is what, what you get. That's it. And you know what? Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> um, so before we jump into the hall, though, I would like to cover our little announcements. So we do have a normal What's on Saturday going up this mm -hmm. Saturday. It's going to be pre-recorded by about 24 hours compared to what we usually do. So it just won't cover Friday night sales. And that yes. is because Ryan's family is coming to visit us, which we are quite excited about. That'll be fun. They get to stay in our house for the first time. Today for the hall, I, I don't have mine super organized. I have a few nope. things kind of organized, but for the most part, not really. So we're just kind of going to jump into it and yeah. go like taking turns as mm -hmm. always. So I suppose we should begin. And Here I do want to start with my couple of like things because I do have those pulled out. So first up is just this vintage belt. Cute. This is just a really like micro floral embossed belt. Yeah. As per usual, no brand, but it is real leather. I can tell these always do good for me. Mm -hmm. When we first got there, actually me and Debbie, Debbie grabbed a belt that was so cute. It was like vintage leather, studded flowers all over. For it and she's like oh look how cute this is the things like this ever do good and i was like yes yes they do it's funny because debbie also doesn't know but that's why whenever we're like is this good we're making fun of debbie yeah when it's like you hold up something really good and you're like is, is this, this good because she doesn't well i'm not gonna say she doesn't know but she's not like familiar as with many brands when as we she are. found her golden goose for the first time she like texted us a picture and she's like is this good and we actually didn't know so we're like i don't know and then she sent a screenshot of like comps and we're like well that's where I, shockingly, that's where I found out about Me Goose. too. It was Debbie. 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 And now I have a pair and I yes. love them. You learn from your mom and you teach your mother as well. Yes, you do. <laughs> Next up is another thing. And this is not Stitch, though it looks like Stitch. But it is <laughs> from Lilo and Stitch. This is apparently a alien. What's her name? Yeah, named, it's the same species. Um, Named Angel. Angel is Angel. her name. She's got a cute little heart here. And these ears. She has like, one on her back, too. So I like to pick up the plushies if they're literally from mm -hmm. the Disney parks. And Little Angel is. I will definitely post this on Mercari and Marketplace. Mm -hmm. But I probably, since it's Disney, I'll probably put this on Posh as well. But these do do well. The two Disney things I've noticed do well are, of course, the spirit jerseys. Mm -hmm. And kind of like the big, really good quality plushies. They're so expensive. Maybe like the ears, too. The ears do amazing. Yeah. Well, and they weigh nothing. Um, But the plushies are so expensive at Disney. Like, that was probably $80, $90. They're ridiculously expensive. Yeah, and they're really nice. And so people want them, but they don't want to pay, you know, $100 Which for I can understand. Same. Next up is a very perfect for the season set of pillows. So these match exactly and it's Mama Bunny with Baby Bunny. On the back is just like a gingham plaid. A gingham. These are actually from Target. And you might be like, Jack, why are you getting Target pillows? So, A, of course, they're perfectly in season. Also, if you find sets of pillows in the bins, 
Marketplace is the place. It kind of is. Which honestly. another thing taught by Debbie is all of my marketplace knowledge. That's all Debbie. So if you find sets, even if it's Target or something, definitely put it on Marketplace. They do really good. Mm -hmm. Especially like Hearth and Home does really good. Yeah. And then these will just do great too. I think They're these just are adorable. I think these are last year's Easter pillows, which is kind of weird that they, they showed um, up at the bins. Oh, what's that expensive one? It's, Project 62? It's just, it's just threshold. I think. Oh. So then I'm just going to show my couple of baby things that I think I'm going to just post for a little while and then put in my like garage sale bin or i might yeah. just keep them posted but put them in my garage sale bin so these are some new some new baby bolos i believe based on my quick googling this is a brand called ashmi and co or mm -hmm. ashmi and co they make it look like a lot of little knit <gasps> baby pieces How and cute. they're quite expensive these are like 50 bucks or something My which gosh. is kind of right on par with the stuff we were talking about in the baby bolo this is a brand called mayoro hmm. and this one so yeah some designed in spain which of course caught my attention what is it with the spanish and the baby clothes <laughs> i feel like every brand that we talked about was like spain so this is just like a cute little girl's Ooh. like top this is size six just says six this was size six to nine months. This, I believe, is like a baby's little like diaper cover. Yeah. So this is by Coco Ao Lae or Coco Ao Light. This is 18 months and these are also really expensive. I don't have all these memorized hmm. now what the comps were, but all these were quite expensive and they're they all were expensive the same enough bin. for him to get them. This is a little oh. like hat, little beanie. This is really actually nice fabric. Like I could picture an expensive sweater being made out of this. Okay, but can you imagine somebody's head being that small? <laughs> and the brand is called The White Company. And I think it's when it's kids, it's called like Little White Company because I think they also make adults. Hmm. This is zero to three months, so oh. adorable. How cute though. And last is this really fuzzy plush <sighs> zip hoodie. So and this is called Angel Deer. And it's 6 to 12 months. It says do not sleep in. Which is it's probably like dangerous to sleep in with zippers and stuff. Maybe like a hood, yeah. But it's super cute and it's super squishy. All this stuff is in really good shape. Of course I've been kind of looking at baby stuff more often ever since the baby bolo. Kind mm -hmm. of like lingerie. I've been looking yes. at a lot more lingerie. I have probably. been looking at a ton of bras. Baby stuff? Not quite there yet. Almost. <laughs> so first up for me, this haul was mainly clothing. I don't think I got, well I got one pair of shoes yeah. for my mom. And that's it. Yeah. Just clothes. This is adorable. It is a life is sweet little strawberry shortcake graphic t-shirt and then it has this really cute little logo on the back i love this kind of like vintagey looking like graphic yeah it's really so cute. cute okay so this is kind of exciting i was very pumped to find this she needs a little trip through the washing machine but that's okay it is vintage anthropology eleven says and it's this really adorable little patchwork like jacket yeah. this is twee this is very twee with this little like but ruffly the ruffles are cute thing actually. up here i know it's actually kind of adorable if the print was a little more modern, this would look much more Oh, modern. no, I absolutely think the ruffling think it would. is very modern. 100%. There's just like a little bit of yellowing on the inside of this lining, which I feel like is just kind of common for these jackets. Um, I'll spray it down with the OxyClean and it'll be wonderful, which is amazing. So these next two things are my like historical we, projects. We had a lot of comments about these, so maybe re-explain. Okay, so what these are, to my knowledge, are, I'll let Jack hold one up. Um, so my grandmother actually had one of these because she was a child of the Great Depression. She was born in 1936, the literally. She was born in Iowa in the Dust Bowl. And from my knowledge, what these are, are Depression era, which is like, what is the Depression technically? 19... I'm when did the stock market like crash? History. Like 1919 to like 19... Like middle, like end of the teens <laughs> to like the beginning of the 30s, somewhere in there. But what they would do back in the poverty days of the United States is they would take bed sheets and turn them into dresses because they were poor, obviously, and needed dresses. So I'm like 86% sure that's what they are. And they show up a lot whiter on camera than they are in person. Like this lace color is much more close to the sheet in real life than it is on camera. So these are like lace tablecloths and like blankets and things and they would like trim them well they look like doilies mm -hmm. yeah into these ways that would like make them into dresses and i figured that out is it this one because it has oh the yeah. bed sheet liner like the top of the bed sheet so um from my calculations these are a little older than my grandmother and my gra my grandma love her to death turns well into her 80s so these are quite old i bought a tub that i'm going to like clean them in because they do have a few 
marks just from like use and from wear. I will do my best to clean them, but them being so old, I'm not going to do anything involving like the machine washing because I don't want them to get hurt. Um, so that's like really fun and I'm excited about that. And I think it'd be quite exciting to list them. Not something that would have caught my attention mm, at all. I saw them and was like, that's really old. And I figured out they were dresses. And I was like, oh, it looks really old. Then I like ran. Jack over. ran the opposite direction as I just like <laughs> beeline to it. Okay, so something definitely not as old. A really cute little brown North Face puffer. There is, unfortunately, that's a fuzz. One teeny little just like hole in the fleece lining of this pocket. It doesn't go through the pocket. It's just like through the fleece layer. The brown North Faces on Depop still do so good. Like 50, 60, 70 dollars for like the fleece ones. So I'm... It looks like a bonfire hole. It when absolutely it, does. I think it's an ember. And yeah. an ember lands on the And you your get a little ember on you. Probably. Better than your skin. And so that will do quite well. These, I kind of want to see if I can fit into these. It's a pair of vintage Levi's. They are a pair of 505s, vintage size 32. I love this wash. Just this kind of like really classic 80s, like lightish wash. I love that they already do have a little bit of wear on them as well. Because knowing me, I put stains on my clothes in four seconds after I buy them. Um, So it is nice to have things that are already kind of like pre broken in which is nice next up for me is a bra a it's actually more kind of like a bralette it's cute so this is a really pretty kind of like fall orange um airy bralette and it's actually an extra extra large so because of the size and just because of how cute it is mm -hmm. i think that this will do really good so i was oh, yeah. actually pretty excited to find that because also it obviously cost me nothing mm -hmm. i did end up getting the ll bean i know oh, that i yes. showed you guys this in the thrift with us and oh. i wasn't sure because it's quite heavy it's wonderful but it's so pretty so it's a size large and i kind of assume it was at least originally a men's but it doesn't really matter Made in Hong Kong, so it is quite old. Do we think this but fit? This in? is a super, super pretty, chunky knit, almost like yarn, crochet ish mm -hmm. sweater. It almost gives me like Christmas lights right oh, here. Yeah. But I don't think that's obviously what that's actually supposed to be, but it's so it's pretty. pretty. It definitely like is not just like a Christmas sweater. This mm -hmm. is like a, you could it's just like a sweater go sweater. camping or something. Yeah. Like a sweater. But what are you supposed to do in your LL Bean sweater? I don't know. Go Camp. camping. <laughs> Go explore. Another vintage you. sweater, and this one is very up my alley. So the brand is Bobby Brooks, but it does not matter. It is a woman's extra large. And this is one of the good old classic tacky Halloween oh. vests. Mm -hmm. I love old 80s tacky Halloween sweaters. I have at least like three, and I grab them all year no matter what, because they do super good. Even if I need to sit on them in my closet until like August, September, sure. that's fine. You can do Someone that. will buy it. Then the first thing I found all day was a free people and it's a medium large. And this is just a really nice oversized like tunic. Oh, it's like a nice tee. material too, yeah. Yeah, it's got those wide like boyfriend style arms and it's definitely super oversized. Yeah. And the tag made me think it was older, but then when I looked at the fabric tag, actually I think this is quite new. Mm -hmm. That looks a lot like the newer tags. So I was pretty excited to find that. I think that's a good one of those like transitional pieces. Yeah. Because it's lighter. Then I'm going to try this brand for the first time. Ryan has a few times and I mm -hmm. think your luck has been very off and on. It's, I think it's really dependent on the piece. I had one piece that was like really patterned and definitely had a lot of like embellishment to it that did really well. And then I had one that was a little bit more plain that didn't do well. I think this would do good. So Just because of the pattern and like how substantial it is. It's parsley and sage. This one's a medium and we've brought it up a few times that we have a leg and look boutique here mm -hmm. called Fog bushes yeah. usually when we find lag and look brands like parsley and sage <laughs> that's, where it comes from. that's where it's from and the stuff there is so expensive Stupid and like expensive. the best sale is like 30 percent off or 20 if that even, if it's even. and it's usually a very expensive. select like one rack it's like these when we walk by so this is a nice long button coat mm -hmm. and i'm just hoping that this will do better because it's more of a substantial piece i usually see the stuff by this brand and Again, kind of run the other way, but yeah, it's a little we'll chintzy. See. Then I got two of the exact same thing, and you can probably guess by the colors and the pattern exactly who made this. And 
I guessed it as well, and I was I correct. I think I know. So these are like hooded, hooded, not hoodie, hooded towels. Oh. By Lily Pulitzer, and they were made for Pottery Barn. So that is quite exciting. I huh. kind of think they're two different sizes, unless they just came as one size. I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna undo them both. Oh, cute. But technically, I guess it said Pottery Barn Kids, so these are technically kids, but also, I mean... They're adorable. It's just... This is like... Towel. This is Minnesotan leg families that have two daughters. <laughs> yes. This is exactly what this yeah, is. Yeah, they're in really good shape, too. And actually, sometimes this stuff has years. Let's see. I think 2017, it says. Yes. 2017. Nice. Next up for me, I do have a couple of accessories floating around in here. I did end up getting the really adorable little Minnie Mouse ears, and then these super cute little Winnie the Pooh golf visor. I kind of want to get a visor this year. I'm kind of feeling that for me. I like golfing. I think especially with like the hair that kind of... Oh, I think it's a good look. It's very practical. This I got kind of with Depop in mind, though I really have been doing my best to not watch get these, like, so much stuff with Depop. Oh my gosh, should I whip like, you in the face? I'm so sorry. Around. That has not happened for a while. <laughs> um, this is another Catalina item. You may remember I picked up one of their swimsuits a couple of weeks ago. They are just this like really well-known vintage swimwear line. I picked up this little kind of like strong looking little mini skirt. I think this is gonna do really good as I just like, <laughs> I think it's gonna do good for the girlies. It's cute. It is really cute and I love the color. Oh, the elephant in the room is beauty. Jack did give me this. She's stunning. It's a suede and like, it's kind of like a sack crochet. Yeah. Out of this kind of like elasticy material. Almost like bungee, but micro That's exactly. bungee. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, do you remember those bracelets we used to get yes. in like the early 2000s? Yeah. They were on that like black string that would just like That's stretch. Where it's like you can balance better if you wear this. And it's like, Oh, those what? like, <laughs> I think it's like a knockoff German bracelet. Honestly, <laughs> just like, if you no, look you at can't. It. Um, and the back is brown suede. The handle is suede as well. This thing is stunning. Anything that's like leather and then some it does very good on Depop. I would have definitely got that to sell if like, Ryan oh, yeah. wasn't around or whatever. I just or if taken, Ryan wasn't doing Depop. Um, Jack gave me this as well for Depop. Th this is adorable. I absolutely love this. It's this stunningly beautiful Liz Claiborne little vest. Is there a way that I can like close this? No. I don't think so. I think it's open. Yeah. Oh no, there's hook and eyes. Mm, it's almost like corset hooks. Kind yeah. Of. There we go. Beautiful. It's hand. Be well, not hand I don't know about hand beating, but it's beaded Probably. all over the place. And with then like pearls. It's. Stunning with Oh my gosh, and like with <gasps> all of this sequin, like each and on one the of these inside is like inside of them, like it's different color. Also, ignore my like black paint covered fingers. But there's like different size pearl beads. That's really um pretty. well it is a it is Liz Claiborne collection. Which I do not know what that means, hey, but if I know up. anything about brands that are women's names that have collection after them. That means it's expensive. Um, and it is 100% so Interesting. So sure. this might honestly be kind of back a little... when she was a bit more expensive. Kind of a little good find. There's a little bit of stuff on the back, but I don't really think that's going to be that big of a deal, especially because who's going to be looking at the back when the front of your top is this stunningly beautiful, gorgeous beaded situation. Or being white silk, that thing's yeah, in great she's shape. She's good. Um, this, I haven't taken the time to Google. It's Kit It. Kit Kit Kit. Kick, kick it. it. Kick it. And it's just this really cute little, like, fluffy tank top. I know some kick of these... It. <laughs> I know some of these were, like, kind of pricey back in the day. I don't know. I think it's nice. It's, it's nice soft. and soft. And then if I don't sell it, I'll take it to Pedal's Closet. And they'll take it. I found not one, not two, but Trace Leches Lululemon Bras. Um, I do not know what size they all are. One of them still has a size tag in it. I would assume they're probably Ooh, all the same. I like that this blue tie-dye one is actually really I've cute. I've seen that print on something. It's really before. pretty. Uh, this one's okay. This one's not my favorite. It's just like, it's well, cute though. But no, when you compare okay. it to like a blue tie dye, it does give me yeah. very like Spanish tile floor, which I'm obsessed with. This one is this definitely is the newest. I love this pattern. Super cute. This like red, and then the back is all kind of fancy. There is the little Lulu logo. The tag on this is like Crisp. new from the store, Crispy. It's a size 12. You would assume they're all the same size? I don't know. Let me like, while you do that. Next up for me is one that Ryan threw me, which is yeah. a rarity. 
<laughs> Isn't that shocking? Athleta size medium, definitely an older Athleta tag, which could make me weary sometimes, but it's so perfect beautiful. for spring. And also with pink being so in lately, I thought I would get this. So I just need to steam it, but it's kind of this like swim cover dress that I just think is really pretty. Barbie core. Then a really fun vintage sweater. So this is wool rich for women. <gasps> Specifically, specifically for and only, women. This is a size medium, and this is such a fun, pretty vintage sweater. We got whale tails. We got palm trees. We, we got, got beaches. We, we got, got sunglasses. Those pink and orange look sunglasses. Look at that. I okay. Can you make those sunglasses, it's, please? Oh no, they're not sunglasses. Oh. It's oh. just we got 80 shapes. Yeah. We got all kinds of things. So the back doesn't have anything, but the sleeve Ugh. has like a flower and a pot, I believe. But this is so pretty. Can you I imagine would be some like, excited any time of the year? Bitty back in the day going that. down to like Key Largo <laughs> and her little like Wolver sweater like trotting around the <laughs> Florida like old folk home. <laughs> then another sweater. This is a 80%, 96% wool Mark by Mark Jacobs sweater. It's an extra small. And this it's is a really ruffly with a bunch of buttons sweater. It is super, super soft for being wool. Oh, this, but it's hook and eye yeah, instead of button closure. It has That's a kind of trillion annoying. hook and eyes. So <laughs> it's kind of like a Y2K style, which honestly, I'm mm -hmm. not really mad about. But it's in really good shape. No snag. No, really, no pilling either. Mm -hmm. So I was. She took care of that, which is nice. Then I picked up swim, which is so rare. I found half of it, but you'll understand why in a second. And I also think I literally have possibly had this swimsuit before. It kind of looks vaguely very familiar, familiar and I it. think I might have got it when TJ Maxx used to have good yellow sail, oh, yellow tag. This TJ Maxx yellow tag clearance. So here's the bikini bottom. We've got like cacti and flowers, and then of course the top has the same situation. And this is a Tory Burch swimsuit. And like I said, I literally think I've had the bottoms now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. These are both a size small, obviously, because they're a set and I'm quite excited. They're cute. They're both in great shape, yeah. no stains or anything. And obviously for swim, a set is so much better than mm -hmm. just one piece. Yeah. This is an H&M, extra small. Oh, I love this. Again, with pink oh. being popular, I thought I'd just try it, if not, I will, like, give it to Ryan before he goes to Play-Dohs. Yeah. It's cute little trendy, like, puff shoulder, too. And then this is a J. Crew. It's probably a little older, but I just thought for the season it was pretty Aww, good. It's a yeah. size 2. Like an Easter dress. And though it is white. It looks I have like the bed not, dresses. <laughs> I have not found a stain. So that's exciting. I do need to lint roll it, but otherwise mm. it's in great shape. I like these little, like, sun slash yeah. flower kind of details. These little, like, daisies. And, of course, otherwise, like, I could just consign it to mm -hmm. if I... Can't yeah, that is a good like Easter piece. So this I kind of think came from the lag and look lady. It is a flax tank top size 2G. I do not know what 2G means. I hardly ever pick up flax, but I love this color. I hope it's just the cellular service 2G. She's still just on a 2G. Don't these like have some kind of network? like little, <laughs> it's just like, I know I haven't gotten a text. I... I use an iPhone 3GS and I'm on 2G. She goes, I am on 18T's 2G family plan. <laughs> um, the color I just think is really cute and I think it's a really nice little like linen plus size tank top as we get closer into the spring months. Finally. 2G must mean 2X. I would assume. Because grande is This, large. I low key kind of want. Large, good to know. This might be mine. This is soda, as in Minnesota. We live there. You looked at me like you were telling me that. You didn't know? Anyway. I, um, I love these kind of like varsity letters. I think this is super cute. But da 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 we have to clean this one little stain off, which I do not think would be that bad. Um, and those do good on Marketplace here, just kind of like as a local thing, if I see them, and they're not my size. It's like a here. local brand that's probably sold at local boutiques. But it's They like, have like pop-ups. I follow Pretty expensive, and like mm -hmm. it actually... A lot of people really like to wear it. Here. I think it's very like trendy, cute, popular with like moms. Mm -hmm. These are very nice as well. They are MWL, Make Weekends Longer from Madewell. Really cute, just pair of like heathered gray little joggers. Nice. They have a little bit of pilling kind of at the butt, but that's not that big of a deal. I can and take to be exempt. Yeah, I was gonna say. This was kind of a new brand to me. I don't know anything about it, but I just thought it was cute and it weighs literally nothing. It is cactus. Mm, seen it. 
Don't know anything I don't know about it. anything about it, but I love this top. It's so much fun. It's this gauzy see-through black mesh top with these crazy <sighs> big amazing like balloon sleeves. No, I think it's fun. <laughs> can, Vanessa, I can see you from my house. See you. Um, I don't know. I just think it's really cute, and I think that it's gonna do decent. And I love how big these sleeves are. Like they're amazing. They're huge. I don't know. I think it's fun. Like over a drama. top. Very drama. Drama. Very drama. Okay. And then the last thing is I got this for Depop. You know, I'm saying I'm not going to get that much more for Depop. It's for North Face men's size large um, black terry fleece sweatpants. Just treat kids like these for some reason. I don't. I mean, they're going to be comfortable, but like, <laughs> thanks. Next up for me is a super, super pretty color pair of shorts. Ryan threw me these as well. These are Athleta and they are the Hustle three inch short. So they are quite a bit newer. These are a lot like, what are they called? The Lulu. Oh, <laughs> the Pacer. Something, but that mm -hmm. same like butt Maybe. flap. <laughs> she has butt ventilation. So those are extra small and I was excited. Then I found a baby Bowden piece. I guess I forgot to put this one oh. my baby step. Size zero to three months. Little heart butt. Cute. Not a pocket, but just a little embroidery. Little butt. Super adorable. Then we have a new brand to me. It's called Feet. Oh, I've had a feet clothing. before. And this is extra small. I think it's like that brand Soft Serve mm -hmm. where they just make really, really soft, almost like blankets you wear, whatever, like tie-dye pieces. That's kind of what they said on their website. But they are quite expensive. Mm -hmm. These are like a hundred bucks or something. So I thought I would just give it a shot, especially because it doesn't really weigh that much. They are cute. This I was so hoping would be from like the early 2000s, but it's from 2022. This is a Britney Spears Free ribbed Britney. tan tank top. It's a large, it's just Britney Spears brand. Um, it might literally have been ordered from like her website because it's 2020. I, don't I know. can see this being but it could a be Britney Pax Spears on too. Yeah. So I don't know. But it's I, really cute though. There's a lot of Britney fans, so I was quite excited to pick that up. I love Britney Spears. Ugh. Then we have a Club Monaco piece, which I don't get that often, but I really like this one. It's an extra small small, but you'll see it's very oversized and it's open. This is like a poncho <sighs> kind of kimono Oh, this sweater. is nice. Yeah, it's got the armholes way over on the sides, yeah. and it honestly almost could be like one size fits all. I don't even know why it has a size mm -hmm. in it. But it's a cashmere blend, as in it's like 5% cashmere. It's soft, though. But it's, yeah, it's super soft, and it's in great shape for being like a black knit. Then I have a corduroy coat, and this is another brand I don't grab that often. It's J. Jill, and it's a large tall. Ooh. And this is the Heritage Tumbled Corduroy Coat. So thank you, Jijil, for, Jijil. Putting, for putting the name in there. Yeah, you. <laughs> but I just thought that this was oh, really, this. really nice. It has like a faux Sherpa collar to it. And oh, it's yeah. just in great shape. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't love some corduroy? I love a green corduroy, man. I think yeah. it's amazing. Full zip. It looks, And it's a color that just like, looks I think that one time. and lavender just look good on it. Anybody. And all year. Oh, I love these, man. These are so cute. American Apparel jeans, the classic little shorty shorts. Every summer, I find like four or five pairs of these and they do amazing. These are size 28. I remember I had a pair of these and they had like an XL version that was like longer and I wore them into threads. They literally turned into nothing. Um, that's okay. This is a really cute little pair of Abercrombie and Fitch, the ankle straight ultra high, ultra high rise in a size two. Nice. Really cute little pair of Abercrombie jeans. I love these and those I like good. them because the knee distressing isn't like crazy blown out yet. Like it's not, you know, like ripped halfway down on the bottom. I think these are going to do super good with like yeah. the little rock hand. Abercrombie jeans are great fine. I know, but the they're tiny. Styles, but that's yeah. okay. I think like the tiny, the tiny girls at school are the ones that wear Abercrombie jeans. This I absolutely love. Really cute little vintage like golfing sweater vest. Really nice little green. I've never heard of this brand before. Westchester Classics, and it's 100% Shetland this wool. Must be some... Put that on eBay. Oh, I 100% will. The Shetlands and the Ebays. Yeah, and the, the Irish wool and Scottish wool and all that stuff. This I picked up literally just because of the style. <laughs> it's this. No brand. I checked to make sure that it's not like Shein. It is definitely older. Really, really cute little like brown floral. That'll do really good on Depot. Oh, and it's going to be like That's... an $18 sale. But either Very way, it's so cute though. In style. It's adorable. Super. I can't tell. No, it's not inside out. The arms are just kind of. Like 90s. Yeah, it's giving very like Phoebe Buffet. 
Yeah. Which I love. This is an anthropology piece that honestly may go up on Depop, which is kind of shocking because I've never put any anthro on Depop. Angel of the North, vintage tag. I kind of like this though. I think it's kind of cute. With this, the neckline isn't my favorite, but I liked it. It has this kind of like rope detail on it. And it's a little tunic. And then it does have some of the same little rope stuff on the back. Okay. And then I did with that other anthro sweater, find this one. This is a knitted and knotted which I think I said in the thrift with us of like, I cannot literally remember the last time that I found one. I've seen them at and like, like consignment I... stores and I would never pay over like two dollars a dollar for Literally. it anymore i could never no um but i think this is cute because it has this little spool of thread with it oh yeah which i think is adorable um and i just like these little floral like appliques mm -hmm. i guess you could call them yeah it's very cottage core which i think is good and i think this kind of like neutral like little farm girl moment they're gonna like yeah. that they're gonna enjoy okay well Mix up for me is another one from Ryan. And I would keep this, but I just like don't picture myself wearing a shirt that says babe on it. <laughs> but it's a spooky babe shirt. I love the graphic and I love the word spooky. I like so this I color. wish it just said spooky and mm -hmm. this would be mine. But it is a Comfort Colors sweatshirt and it is an XL, I assume kind of like a unisex fit. Yeah. But I love this color. It's so and cute. And the graphics. Uh, so that of pumpkin course, orange I'm is get amazing. That. Yes. Then we have a very summery item. This is an athleta piece. And this is the kind of athleta that sometimes can do so good. This so it's cute. older label, extra small. But this is a maxi, super, super soft, like oh. swim cover cobalt blue dress with the drawstring in the middle. Some of this athleta, like island wear that's like hmm. older can actually do really really well so i'm actually quite excited about interesting this. good to know then i did have an anthro find oh this this might be my only anthro find this i knew i almost was gonna say in the voiceover when i show this to ryan he's gonna recognize it right away and sure I enough when i did this. he knew it right away so it's moth and it is extra small, but again it's open so it could fit like small or even medium and this is a like scallop kind of ruffle open knit sweater the model picture is so cute it does have a good and this is only from like a couple years i mean at this point probably like six years ago but to me that's not that <laughs> old not anymore that in ryan's world yeah then i'm obsessed with this and it's taking everything in me not to keep this but i know that i have a lot of blazers i just went through my closet <laughs> yesterday and i was like I have too many blazers but there's also no such thing as too many blazers no so it's talbots and it's a size 10 made in the usa so this is really old and this is a beautiful so academia wool houndstooth blazer i love the accent of this ultra suede mm -hmm. it's not real suede i don't believe they do have shoulder pads which i just saw in the news this morning the news of all places the local news <laughs> that shoulder pads are coming back and they were all over fashion week oh lord um these amazing i don't know what they call i'm sure one of you guys know this they're like woven what are these buttons called because like high quality really cute professional blazers always have these like leather like woven buttons yeah it's like woven or patched or something mm -hmm. It's cute though. But the lining's great. Nothing wrong. She is made of 80% wool, 20% lamb's wool. So all wool. It's <gasps> nice. It is leather. Ooh. Wow. Look at Talbots. This being is dirty. like pinky up Talbots. This is very pinky up but Talbots. I, oh, yeah, if that doesn't sell, then I will keep it. But I will try selling it first. Yeah. Like, okay, so next up for me is another Depop item. Uh, Goodwill wanted $8.99 for this. No, ma'am. Uh, not uh, my uh, book. Uh, uh, uh. It's Sport Haley, which I've never heard of, but it's just this really cute little brown and white houndstooth little mini skirt. And then I do love that it has, well, it's just a mini skirt because it does have the short lining underneath it and they're like spandex shorts. Hmm. So they're going to be quite comfortable. And the skorts and the skirts and all the things do very good on the, the Depop. Shorts, the shirts, the skorts. The skorts, the, the shirts, shorts, and the skorts, the and the scorps, and the Sam scrumptions and all that kind of stuff. Does good on Depop. This is that really cute little mountain t-shirt. I love selling these. The tigers are always very fun. I think people like the big cat ones. 3D. Honestly, like, yeah, I don't know what 3D, I don't know what 3D means. Oh, this is a Lululemon. Oops. It's a what? Uh, Lululemon, <laughs> pardon my French. Really cute little black Lululemon plain tank top. E tank top. 
Long sleeves? If I could get my words out today, it'd be 100% beautiful. sleeveless, sheer mesh floral. I feel like they're real real when they kind of just like get everything wrong, but the pictures are great. That's very me. <laughs> um, another Lululemon item. These, this was kind of unexpected Ooh. to me. These are fun. I like these. These zippers don't do literally anything except like you got a little pocket right there, which I think is kind of fun. But they're very like Y2K. They're, they're fun. Very nanners. It's giving very, like, for some reason, Velma on her off day from the live-action Scooby-Doo. Banana. I don't know why. Um, they have this really cute little back, and there is the little Lululemon logo. I love a canary yellow, man. Oh, very it's sunshine. A happy color. yellow. Okay, I will do two more, and then I will be done. This is... I only got a little pile left. This is a really cute women's North Face. I was trying to dig the tag out, but, like, you know what a North Face tag looks like. Women's small, really pretty little salmon vest. And somebody in the... Salmon? Yeah. Would you consider this a salmon? It's like red or ultra hot pink. Salmon. Um, somebody <laughs> in the video messaged me and was like, do you all really wear vests all the time? No. And I was like... I heard in you say that in my voiceover and... Every... Moms do. Yeah. Every single, like, woman... It's 700. What does that mean? Remember, I think I just found this out. I don't remember where, but like the other day... <laughs> That's like the amount of like feathers in it. So it's like heavier down because it's 700. 500 is like a rating lower. Is it like, and then, like the amount of like how many fe feather and fill? Like I it's, don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Anyway, um, but no, they the moms wear these constantly come like the end of this month until like June. And then in the fall, they come right back. Oh, <laughs> no, literally. So we go from June and then, like, end of August. Some of those, like, very low-key, not-that-chilly August nights, the moms are out in their little vests. Oh, goodness. This like, doesn't oh, make any difference oh, to gosh. my body temperature, but I better wear a vest. Like, girl, your arms are hanging out. What you doing? <laughs> anyway. Um, this is another very beautiful vintage dress. This one is also handmade. This one, I think, which is much prettier. Gives my little thought, my theory. We had a little sewing family. Hmm. Which, I don't know. This, this could be a complete farce. Um, this is very cute. I want to say this fabric is from the 70s. Just based off of my very limited design knowledge from my college days. It looks like a... Um, based on me knowing nothing, I think this is from the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of it. Um, it's batik, though, which I love, mm -hmm. a batik fabric. But it I just looks think like this an, is... Um, Indian printed. Color. I was going to say, it looks like a tapestry I had when I was in college. It's beautiful. It has all this, like, really crazy floral detail on it and this big old circle skirt. And it's kind of like an apron style because it has the, like, tie in the back. So you can, like, give yourself a little shape. Yet that was the one that you're you like, do you think it? I should get this one? And I was like, if you're going to pass any, pass the bed sheets. No, we're not passing that. the bed sheet dresses. Next up for me, I just have, like, five pair of pants. So I guess I sorted a little bit i just put the pants <laughs> on the bottom so this is a j crew skirt size medium i, I knew this. this print and i could not figure out what it was obviously until i looked at the label but from afar i saw this print and i was like that is something i've had experience with somehow but this is just so pretty it is super cute little of swing of course style. i can just consign it if it doesn't sell but i am gonna try that because i love it it's adorable then we have a banana republic pleat pl it's I feel Again. like I say please every time I say Banana Republic. Peace. That's a lot of B's and P's in the same sentence. PLs, sense. I know. A Banana Republic. So these peace. are the Logan <laughs> pants. The ones I find all the time, there's the Ryan and the Logan. The, the, who makes the Sloan? The, they also do that. Oh. Sloan is like tapered. The Ryan's like ankle. The fact that we can just Logan's rattle this like off. The Logan's like straight wide leg. So these are size 12, <laughs> great size. And like I said, the Logan is like a straight wide leg, which I like a lot more. Mm -hmm. So I really like these. They're like a window pane, just yeah. gridded pant. Good professional pant. Yeah. These are from 2019 too. So that's great. Charcoal window pane. So I think these will do okay. We'll see. Again, I can consign them if they don't do that good. This is my third Ben's trip in a row, Finding Mother. Hmm. And I, I, I would like it to not stop. It's like Mother and Missoni have been like following me around the Ben's. Except <gasps> Missoni I didn't find this time. No. So there's the Mother label. These are a pair of black jeans. They're size 24, but honestly with Mother, I'm not that picky with the size. These are the wash Guilty as Sin. And of course, these are the looker. Because anytime you find Mother, it's the looker. But are you guilty? <laughs> Which 
That's the looker funny. just means it's skinny. It's the high waisted skinny jeans yeah. they make. So these have slightly busted knees and frayed ankles, mother and skinny jeans. Honestly, it doesn't really affect them much. Like People if it's like skinny, them. they'll do just as good. Then, then let me get like a feather. Athleta, oh, dusty here. Extra small. I was almost gonna skip these, and then I thought to myself, Jack, even though like they don't look that interesting. Every time I have them, they still sell mm -hmm. for something. I give you these. These are like the jeggings. They're like <laughs> jean looking with these pockets and stuff, but they're leggings. Even if they're old, which these are quite old, I don't know when they're from, they still do good mm -hmm. and sell for something. Like they always sell. So it's like, ugh. People be right. loving their athletic jeggings, man. Then we have a J. Crew piece, extra small. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that this is the cashmere blend jogger because oh. I've sold the cashmere blend sweatshirt before to Asia dancer Kristen. <gasps> Kristen. So I these, I believe, are the exact same thing, which there's no tag in them. So hopefully I'm right. <laughs> I'll have to Google that after this. Yeah. But they're just really cute white joggers. They need a little deep pilling, but there's no stains or spots. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I believe they have 5% cashmere in them. And my last piece is a new bolo brand to this channel, though I feel like we've known about it for a long yes. time. We just, I was made aware of it on the internet and I, I don't think either I'm of now them jealous. Have, neither of us have found it though. Until today. Well, they are just shorts. These go for like 50 to like 80. So it's a brand called Cezanne. For a pair of jean shorts. And Cezanne is very expensive, especially if you find like dresses or something, mm -hmm. and then you definitely want to pick it up. These are size 36, but I guarantee that's like French because these are not a 36. No. <laughs> these are probably like a 26 like a maybe, two. or like a 24 or 25. She's tiny. But they're really cute. Button fly, obviously they're perfect for the season. I don't unfortunately think this has any other tags. Oh, there is. Okay good but they're really high quality denim the model number and stuff is totally totally worn off oh no it's not i think they're from 2018 but saison's really expensive so write mm -hmm. it down if you don't know it and yeah. pick it up especially at the bins obviously oh it's dinner time i'm that's, ready to go i'm hungry that's all that we have for you guys today yes. but we'll be back for what sold a saddy day on oh, saturday it's gonna be a good what's on saturday man you keep saying that so i'm ex i have high expectations because i don't think mine's that crazy i have one good sale <laughs> i've had one sale i've had one sale we will see you guys on saturday for what's on saturday and then of course next week once again let us know what your two favorite things were from each of us i always mm -hmm. love to read those and like always let me know if you found anything really fun or exciting this week week in your bins or just in your thrift stores in your daily lives and we will see you guys one saturday goodbye goodbye